It's about 25, 28 times you run up behind. Somebody say there is the other side. There's another side. There's an eternal side. That's what the Holy Ghost has been saying to us. Now he wants you to know. When he said to them in Luke 8 and 22, let us go over to the other side of the lake. He specifically said what it was that we're going to go over to the other side of. It was in this case the lake. They didn't know the storm was going to come down, but it did come down. That means it had to be sifted through the Savior's hand. It came down. It didn't just come up. It came down. That means it had to pass through God before it got there. So that meant the God that allowed it will be also the one that says it's enough and disallows it, commands it to go. And he said, I'm going to go with you. You're not going to go by yourself. Somebody say the other side of the lake. The other side of the lake is there. Is there. Whether I can see it or not. Whether I can see it or not. It's there. It's there. You want a hard side right now, but I want you to know there's a victory side. It does exist. Some of us have struggled so long. We've been attacked so long. We feel like they ain't the one side to our life. The hard side. Amen. The bad side. But I want you to know there's a good side. Somebody shouting if the storm's got worse, that means you halfway there at least. Come on, somebody. To what? The other side of the lake. I'm telling you, the waters may be deep. They may be stormy where you're at right now. But set sail. You ain't by yourself. Jesus is on board. And before you ever started sailing, he said, I'm going with you. And he said this. Glory to God. He said the other side's there. Because I say it is. Because he made the other side. So look at your neighbor and say, won't you do like Jesus? Won't you go to sleep? <laughs> Jesus went to sleep in a storm. Reminds me of my wife. <laughs> Amen? Man, they can be storming. I'll be outside rebuking tornadoes. House be shaking. And she's like... <laughs> Wake up in the morning and she look out the window and say, Oh, it rained last night. Rain! Why are we like the blue one? Oh. <laughs> hey, Amen. We could have been flying a hundred miles upward somewhere and you still. Hey, Amen. That's Jesus. He's asleep in the storm. When the storm's in your control, when the storm's serving you, I guess you can go to sleep. <laughs> Jesus went to sleep in a storm. You know, wonder what would have happened if the story would have read that the disciples just went over and laid down inside Jesus. Come on, somebody. But they were in jeopardy. They thought, oh, God, we're about to perish. We're going to die. Fear grip them. Because they forgot who was on board with them. But at least the stormy winds made them run to where he was. At least they had enough sick to run to it. Look at your neighbor saying, when the storm gets on, don't run from the house of God. Don't run from Jesus. My God, if you do anything, run to him. Don't join in his sleep. There's a rest where Jesus is, even in a storm. Somebody shout, there's a resting place even in a storm. It's in Jesus. Man, I, I, God, if I take off, I'll be back after a while. I, I, Lord, I feel like I'm going to make a new door somewhere in here. I, I can't stand it myself. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray, why you do all that? Because I don't know what else to do at the moment. I feel like I'm going to bust. Hallelujah. You think this is something? My God, what happened to me in the motel this afternoon? I, I ain't lying, son. I felt like the whole room was about to explode. Whew, it was for this service. 
Don't run. Let, let, what did Paul say in Acts 27 and 31? He stole the centurion soldier and everybody there was fit to jump out of the boat when the storm was on. And he told him, he said, except you abide in the ship, you will not be saved. Somebody say, stay in the ship. When the storm's on, don't, don't, don't get out of fellowship with the saints. Don't surely get out of worship. You show up for worship. Come on, somebody. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Stay in fellowship and in worship. Amen. And you'll stay in relationship with Jesus. Amen. And you'll survive the storm. But if you don't stay in a relationship with God in worship and in fellowship with his saints, come on, you won't survive the storm. Stay in the ship. Stay in the ship. Stay in the ship. Oh, my God. They run to Jesus. Yeah. Jesus told them, Luke 8 25, as he stood up, I could see him wiping the sleep out of his head. Where is your faith? Amen. He didn't ask him, Where's the storm at? Come on. Where is your faith? Notice he didn't say you didn't have none. He said, You've just misplaced it. Where'd you put it? You put it in the wind. You put it in the big waves. You put it in what you're afraid of. Come on, somebody. You put it in what's going on wrong. He said, if you forgot I've been here the whole time, I want you to put it back in me. I put it in you because I gave every man a measure of faith, Romans 12 and 3. And if I put the faith in you, I want you to put what I put in you back in me. Trust me. Come on, somebody. Because damn 1 and 3 said the clouds are the dust of his feet. And the Lord will have his way in the world wind and in the storm. Can you trust him that way to know that he's going to have his way in the world wind and in the storm? Somebody shout, the devil ain't going to have his way. God is. Yeah. He is the eye of the hurricane. He is that place of rest and peace. Total stillness. He said, where is your faith? It mean that it had none. I mean, they just misplaced it. They put it in the storm instead of the Savior. 